Um, yeah, I feel like um, our bench production um, came in, and we just got to make better decision, decisions when we come up on the court um, and just really utilize our time and just make um, the best pass. Um, I felt like a lot of the times it wasn't really doing that. So, like, that's just something to learn from and just to, you know, apply it to the next game. Um, I feel like we got a lot of three-point shooters on the team. Um, we just got to make um, the right shots. Um, who, the ball will find who needs to shoot it, and um, I feel like that's what I did tonight. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm, I've been good. Stand butted up, but it was, it was cool. Okay, we'll uh, take questions from uh, from our WebEx audience. Please just raise your hand if you have a question for Destiny. Michelle, anything for Destiny? Yeah, I'm sorry. I wasn't sure how to raise my hand. Sorry about that. Um, Go ahead, Destiny, Michelle. This is, this is Michelle Vogel from ESPN.com. I wonder if you could just talk about um, the guard play so far for you guys, how good it's been. I mean, that's no surprise, but um, just talk about that. It's directed to me? No, I'm, I'm sorry. I thought we were supposed to ask Destiny. Um, I feel like we have a lot of guards. Um, I feel like every day we push each other in practice. And when it's time to, for you to get on the court, I feel like, again, um, you just got to utilize your time because there's so many of us and um, everybody can play. So just come out and compete every single time you come on the floor and, um, you know, just trust each other, rely on each other and just be disciplined. Okay, Augusta, question for Destiny. Hi, Destiny. I wanted to ask after seeing Raven's injury, you know, how, how does that, how do you guys are able to stay focused in, in the atmosphere, you know, after seeing a teammate go down with, with what looked like a pretty painful injury? Um, it's just mental. Like again, like I said before, we have a lot of guards. So it's just the next woman up. Um, and I'm, I'm sure Raven, Raven will get the treatment that she needs once we get back. So just to stay focused and just stay dialed in um, while we still playing the game. And um, just make sure we support her um, while, you know, we get back. And then just one more follow-up, if I can. Uh, Destiny, I wanted to ask, what does posting such a dominant win against South Dakota, a team that played pretty fairly close with y'all last year, just what does that do kind of for the mentality, you know, the – you know, you just haven't trailed in a game so far this year. Just kind of how do y'all take this and build upon it in the weeks ahead? Um, compared to last year, I felt like uh we're we're missing a lot of a lot of layups. Um, but I feel like our defense won this ball game. Um we're playing really good defense until we start fouling, of course. But I just feel like again, we just gotta be disciplined and we just gotta come to our habits. Um, we just gotta stay locked in and um no matter what, just offense and defensively just attack so that's what we came out and did thank you all right i think that's all the questions for destiny thank, thank you very you. much okay tom or michael yeah i mean i, I think we are you know we are, we're we're probably a, a far better defensive team at this stage of the game um like most teams around the country and I just thought we we disrupted. I mean, we wanted to come into the game and make sure that we, you know, one of the one of our non-negotiables was the pressure to disrupt. And I thought we did a, a really good job at just making them second guess or making them play a little bit faster than they wanted to play. Because if you sit back and allow them to be the fine oil machine that they are, you know, that they can make it a long night. So I thought we just it's just imposed our defensive will on them to, you know, to to build a, a, a pretty good lead. Are we, are we better defensively this year? Yeah, I, I think with the, you know, with the, a, a, a whole year under our belt, um, meaning, you know, the core players of our team, they played together all last year. You saw us at the very beginning, the very, very beginning of, uh, of especially uh, Destiny Henderson is her tenure as as our point guard, and sometimes when it's early in the season like that, you don't you don't really know. But now she's had a, a, an entire year as our starting point guard, and she understands pushing the pace of the game and and actually jump starting our defense. So it starts with her and her ability to apply pressure, 
and her ability to utilize her speed to get us up and down the floor. Well, I, w once we weren't turning the ball over, I thought we got good ball movement. We got people in positions where they where they're pretty darn good. What is what is their strength? Um, you know, I, I just hope our, our turnovers aren't something that you know becomes an epidemic um, because it's something that you know we dealt with all last year. I hope that we can clean up our offense, and I hope our players that 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 are out there on the floor can make better decisions. I, I I'd rather them to play the most conservative way. Don't try to make things happen. Just let the ball find who should shoot the ball and where the ball should go. And I, we haven't mastered that yet. All right, a uh, question from Augusta. Hi, John. I know I saw that um, we don't have an official word on Raven, but do you know any more than I, the only detail we saw was the brace and, and just kind of, you know, how she's doing right now or is that kind of waiting until y'all get back to Columbia? Yeah, I, I really haven't had time to, to, to um, talk to our medical staff, so we're gonna wait until uh, until she can get seen when we get back, and we'll 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 find the extent of her injury. Understandable. And then I wanted to ask, just kind of compared to where you guys were at this point last season, you know, very early on, where would you say that kind of matches up? Do you feel like you guys have moved ahead, you know, of where you were on pace for last season, or just kind of where would you evaluate that at this point? Oh, we're, we're much further ahead than we were last year during this time. Um, one is we just had a you – know, last year we had a shortened um, off season. Um, this year we had a full off season, And you got, you know, some of our younger players, they're a year older. You know, the Aaliyahs, the, our 2019 recruiting class, they're, they're juniors now. And then, you know, the, your junior year is when everything should start looking a little bit differently and clearer. So um, on both sides of the ball, and I'm pretty comfortable with them. And, and, and when they're in the basketball game, it's just getting our youngsters up to speed. So, so you know, they're in a position to help, help us. And I know you mentioned wanting to get, you know, some more production off of the bench, you know, this week. And you guys have focused on it in the last couple of days in practice. What did you see from them tonight? And how did you feel like, you know, they're gaining the confidence that you've, that you've wanted to see in the production? Yeah, I mean, we got, we got some, some, you know, some good, bad, some ugly production from the bench. I mean, that's just being quite, you know, honest. You know, we have to be better. Like, there shouldn't be an ugly part of, of what we're doing out there on the floor. It, it really shouldn't be a bad part. It should be either uh, just very conservative or good. There's no, you know, bad. We can, you know, we can play. We can play our starters 30, 35 minutes, and we, we, we'd we be a pretty good basketball team. But if people want to break into the, you know, the the, the substitution pattern, they, they have to play better. They have to play a lot more disciplined than, than what we saw. It's a, you know, it's a good start, but we, we have to be better. And Thank final you. questions from Michelle. Go ahead, Michelle. Yeah, um, Coach Staley, I just wanted to ask. It was a little hard to tell on TV. Did it seem to you like Raven, like her foot got stuck and, and the knee turned? Or did you – I know you're you're watching it from the bench, so I don't know if you saw it any clearer than we did. But did you have a sense of what happened there? I, 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 I missed it. I think uh, someone was obstructing my, my view. Mm -hmm. Maybe the official was just right in front of me that I, I didn't see exactly what happened. I'm sure when we get back to the locker room, our, our video guy, Hudson, will – you know, will show me exactly what took place. Gotcha. Um, in terms of what you've seen so far from from Destiny and and Cook, it just seems to me like the, they've just picked up where they left off from last year, and their their leadership so far has been so strong for you. Do, do you feel like that's been the case? Yeah, I mean, they're they're better. I mean, they're more connected. They're more linked up. They they have a better understanding of where each other are out there on the floor. Um, and I think it's. It's just maturity happens at this stage of uh, their college careers. Destiny Henderson is a is a senior, so she should you know she should know. And, and then Zaya, you know, Zaya is continuing to learn and see see the game at a, at a place that it slows down for and puts her in a position where she can make great decisions. And that's what's happening out there on the floor. And then, can you just um, give us a sense of? You know, I know you, you set up the schedule to challenge your team, but to go on the road, you know, to beat a, a fellow top five team and then 
go out to to South Dakota? How pleased are you with just the way you guys have started? I'm, I, I'm, I mean, I'm pleased. Obviously, we, we we beat two quality basketball teams on the road and and um, two contra- contrasting styles. Um, all purpose, you know, this is this was calculating and purpose um, in in putting the schedule together because we, you know, we want to we want to know what 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 March and April feels like in November and December, and we're challenging ourselves. And fortunately for us, we've you know, we've we've won two really good games. Thank you. Thanks, Michelle. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, Coach. Appreciate it.